Hey guys, I'm Elegant and Shu, and welcome back to my Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. Um, last episode we grinded up our team a little bit. Um, I know that episode was only available in some countries, um, but for those people who didn't see it or just didn't want to watch the grinding episode, we got my Pidgeot to level 23, Copycat to level 20, Meadow to level 25, and we caught, well we didn't catch, we got given a um, Eevee, which I called Naka. And we got him to level 21. So uh, today we shall be exploring Equitique City just a little bit. Um, so first thing, we will head over to behind the Pokemon Center. Hey, hey! Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like the hula dance. You mustn't push a request. Such, such a quite request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well, then I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. Wahahaha. And he's spinning around. So yeah, this seems to be something like a strip club or something. <laughs> but don't be fooled, it's a dance club apparently. I'm not sure what the difference is, but... It's Pokemon, it's meant to be child friendly. So anyway, let's talk to this girl and she's like dot dot dot. And the Team Rocket grunt says, who, huh? who are you? You dare to get in my way. I do dare to get in your way. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little bit ill, so I'm a bit coffee and sniffly. And that was also why my uh, voice was a little bit drony last episode. And a level 12 coffee because that all he has. Um, maybe we grinded just a little bit too much. But, um. So it's better to be over prepared than under prepared. Because we really don't want to lose any team members. And we take it out with two tackles. Um. So yeah, we defeat Team Rocket Grunt as easy as that. Yeah, you did lose. Oh no, you make me look like a villain. You are a villain, you're a Team Rocket person. Silly. Oops, I have an important mission. If I find out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over at the lowest as the lowest of Team Rocket Grunt. Yeah, so he runs off and um basically this is the dance club uh, where all the kimono girls uh, are. This is a kimono girl now, um you must be in Chu, correct? That was indeed excellent, kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does n n uh, sorry. That person does know what to look for in people. Oh, who? That that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Okay, yeah. So she's a bit random, and this guy here wants to talk to us. Wonderful. You are so courageous for your age. It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. So we get HM3, which is Surf, so, um, Surf's a pretty powerful water-type move. Uh, 95 power, I think, 100% accuracy, it's a really good move, actually. I mean, I don't tend to like using HMs on my Pokémon because they're not as good as other moves, but, uh, Surf, I always use that on my water Pokémon, it's so strong. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's not too much to do here. <coughs> Sorry again. But um, there is one more thing we can apparently do. Is it in here? Or is it in that other house? Um, let's talk to this guy. This happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying type Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and like a dragon. Well, that could either be ho -Oh or um, Lugia. But I'm, since it's the burnt tower, I'm pretty sure it'll be whole. So in here, it's up to this guy. Ah, you're on an event. You're on an adventure with your Pokémon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right? Or am I right? Yes. Good. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. Obtain the dazzling machine. There are many items lying about that aren't obvious. Touch the dazzling machine for a while to see if uh, it makes high pitched noise. When it does, you know there is an atom near you. Walking as walking as you use it may make it easier to find items. Oh yeah, I heard there are items in the critiques burn tower. Yeah, so we just break into this guy's house and he just decides to give us free stuff. 
brilliant Pokemon logic. Um, I'd say this is there's not much else to do. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry again. Uh, I'm really ill still a little bit, so I hope I get better for you guys and my voice isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, there's not too much left to do in um here yeah, other than the burn tower and the gym. Um, like there's not too much before we go into the burn tower, but I need to go to the Pokemon first because I am running low on supplies. So let's buy a couple super potions. Oh, damn it! We don't have enough money. Let's buy one regular potion. <laughs> oh yeah, I spent all my money on buying super potions while grinding, which wasn't the cleverest thing I've ever done. Oh, do I don't have any Pokeballs. I better have Pokeballs because we're going into the Burn Tower. Um, I have five Ultra Balls. Hopefully, hopefully, I can catch Pokemon with five Ultra Balls. Um, so yeah, let's head into the Burn Tower. Um, where you can get. You can get Um Hold on, I'm sorry. Here we go. I went too far down on the walkthrough. You can get a ratata, coughing, zubat, or ratake on the top floor. On the bottom floor, you can get a ratata, coughing, zubat, or a magmar. So if we manage to get to the bottom floor without catching um I need, we're running into Pokemon, we could get a Magma, which is a pretty powerful Pokemon. But here, this guy seems to want us. And Sween, my name isn't Sween, like we don't already know that. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. I, I quite find it funny how the names are sort of similar. I, I know they did that on purpose anyway. And you are, and Sue. Glad to meet you. I heard rumours that Suicune is here, so I came to look. Yeah, because we can't see Suicune through a hole in the, um floor, along with Raikou and Entei at all, can we? Take a look at the basement through the hole in the floor. Yeah, so yeah. He does see Suicune, Raikou and Entei. There, Suicune is down there. I could go downstairs, but I know it will run away in no time. I know, I have tried many times, I tried it many times. Well, why haven't they run away if you've been down there? I don't know. Oh, it's Matt. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, it's you. You must be here to catch a legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. That is only a dream. You, you see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. Yes, yeah, so all Matt being cocky as usual. I'm not quite sure what Pokemon Matt has. Um. He has a, um, a Ghastly, apparently, um, so we can't... Oh, great, I shouldn't have put out uh, Naka first. Um, should we send out Meadow? Meadow's quite defensive. Uh, he also has a Zubat, a Magnemite, and on this he will have a uh, Quillava. But if you chose um, Cyndaquil as you start, he'll have a Croconaw. Or if you chose um, Quillava as your starter, then um, he will have Croconaw. I think, yeah, but if he's just in the closest start, I'm confusing myself now. Uh, yeah, not very effective, but look how damage he does. How much damage. I mean, look, oh, that's a pretty good combination, actually, confusing you and then um, mean looking you. But we are five levels higher, so hopefully, hopefully, he won't do too much damage to us. Oh no, I I hate Curse's move. Oh, we better be able to switch our Pokemon now. Because it slowly does damage to you over time. Well, not even slowly, it does a lot of damage to you. Yeah, Med Meadow's just getting so overleveled. Uh, natural Gift. Uh, I'm not sure what that does, actually. The user draws in the power of a berry. Hmm. That doesn't seem like such a bad move, but... We have got a couple decent moves. 
already. No, I won't. I won't use it because um, it's a very dependent move on uh, what berries you do have and what uh, items you give to your Pokémon. Yeah, let's definitely switch Pokémon because we won't be able to do very much to Zubat, and also we have the curse on us and we're confused, so it's not a good sign. Um, so let's send out a Pidgeot to do uh, some quick attacks. Um, yeah, it's, a lot of his Pokemon um, to use confusing moves, as uh, Zubat uses um, Supersonic and Ghastly uses um, Confuse Ray. I'm not sure what Magnemite has, but I'm guessing Magnemite can learn Confuse Ray or something. It seems like it can, anyway. Um, it switch Pokemon because it will have electric moves, possibly. Send up Meadow again. Probably should send out um, Copycat or um, or um, what am I saying? Copycat or Naka because they are a little bit low on levels, but um, that's why I'm a little bit scared because I don't want to lose either of them. And a critical hit and almost knocked it out. But yeah, let's go for another. Um, Magical Leaf and hope we are not too paralyzed to move and hope we don't hurt ourselves in confusion Yeah, so apparently Magma has confusion too So it's a bit of a confusing team <laughs> if you get it It's meant to be a little bit of a joke, but it's hardly a joke. Uh, Sonic Boom, not good. Come on Naka No Meadow, sorry. I'm oh my gosh Oh my gosh, oh my gosh Send out Pidgeot because I think Pidgeot can take it to hit. Yeah, so as you can see, um, Matt is a little bit difficult to beat. Uh, so yeah, let's go for a quick attack and we'll take it out with a quick attack. It's not very effective, but he had like 2 HP left, but anyway. Um, let's get to level 24. Yay, that's, that's always good. Uh, Quilava. I'm thinking about sending Copycat out here because um, Naka doesn't know very many moves and the other two of my Pokemon aren't on very high health. It's only level 22, which is two levels higher, but um, hopefully we can... Yeah, we, we can just smoke screen on you too so you miss all the time. Uh, smoke screen is pretty annoying move. Is yeah, it's pretty annoying move. Um, the users. It yeah, it lowers your accuracy so you keep missing all the time, and then he just takes you out with his attacks like quick attack. Um, yeah, smoke screening back so he can't do too much to us because we want to be a little bit defensive here because we are two levels lower. We want to make sure that we we get hit when um he doesn't. And fortunately, we quite, we're not missing too much, but we probably will now have said that. Um, because of my luck. I don't think I should do too much, because it won't be very effective, yeah. But I'm not sure if Smart Screen can actually burn. I think it's Ember that can burn. Fortunately, he has Ember too. Um, I might have to use a potion, actually. Come on, burn, burn, burn. Oh, no. Oh, great. Okay, come on, Ember, Ember. I just want to get the burn status on him to slowly take him out. Because I'm, I'm almost definite that Ember does burn. Um, I realise I've gone a little bit over. I just wanted to... Um, well, it's Matt's fault again. I blame you, Matt. It's the second time you've made my episodes go, like, too long. Or have I? Um, apparently we didn't even need to burn it, but yeah. I'm just trying to work it out. Um, yeah, we have gone over. I, I blame Matt. So I'm sorry about that. If you're angry at me for doing so, just 
take it out on Matt because I, I it's Matt's fault for battling us for so long. He should just die and lose his Pokemon. Because I know uh, people, uh, especially, well, I've seen Black like Black Light attack to his and I was like, Ron, it's where I got the idea from. Uh, so thank you to him. He's a pretty cool YouTuber. He's doing a, currently doing a uh, Nuzlocke run of Leaf Green, but he sort of likes to think of it that your rivals, um, or the people you're battling, also um, lose their, their Pokemon after recatch them when you defeat their Pokemon, just like you, so. I think that was a quite clever idea that um, to do. But uh, yeah, let's hopefully not run out of PP before. Uh, we'll just, oh great. Yeah, we might just have to switch out because of PP. Yeah, we are going to have to. Unless we can get a mega critical hit or something. I don't know, we've got two. Come on, no! I, I doubt a critical hit will take it out. Uh, yeah, we didn't even do it. Oh, uh, so... Oh, struggle, struggle. Your struggle does damage to yourself. But, um, it's, I didn't even mean to do that, but yeah, it's when you don't, don't have any poo PP left. Oh, oh, come on, struggle, struggle. Yay! It's when you don't have any PP left in any of your moves. You hit with recoil, but, um, I'm not sure how much damage it does. But it does quite a bit of damage. Hmm, I'm not fighting with another weakling ever again. It's too much playing around. And she got some money. Yeah, okay, whatever. Never be able to catch an legendary Pokemon anyway. But you just said you could, and I just beat you. Anyway, um, I'm gonna finish off here, guys. So next time I'll uh, fully explore this, and I'll go down to the legendary dogs and um, see what they're up to. So see you next guy, next time, guys. Thanks for watching.